Welcome back. I've been trying to enclose this FG085 since I purchased it. Now this is my second one so it's only been a couple of minutes since I received this. When I got this inch dimension case on eBay from China I thought wow I think this will fit. So I spent $55 to buy one of these. And I removed the rear panel, which is the same as the front panel. Same thickness, same width, same height. And look, it's a perfect match all around for the front and rear panel, since they're both the same, of this enclosure. Now, my original 085, I, I cut the outside of the front panel, and so I, I couldn't try it. However, the thickness of the 085 front panel is 2 millimeters. And the thickness of the plastic enclosure front panel is 1.3 millimeters. So even though these two front, well, rear panel of the FG085 and the front panel are perfect, the FG085 won't fit in the slots of this enclosure. The other thing is because this enclosure has four screws two in the back, two in the front. If we could force the thing into the slots, now we can take these standoffs off, that doesn't hurt a thing. But what happens is these standoffs here, they wouldn't do any harm at all. But here, would interfere with all of the stuff on this side which would need to be removed and they are the USB connector and the power connector. Now if you put this thing in a case you're probably going to have to relocate both of them anyways. If you wanted to carefully remove, and you could do this with a knife, the interior piece of what secures the circuit board. Removing that and removing this power connector would probably allow you to insert this into the case now, you would have to take, understand this is the way it's normally assembled. It has a rear panel that's held on with the screw. You would have to take these, the rear panel off and take these standoffs. Now the one that you would take off is female on both ends. You would then remove this one, which is male by female, and replace it. And put the screws in. That would leave you without a back panel and with very little of this sticking through. Once you've desoldered the output connector, you can replace the standoffs. It may be necessary to remove the uh, adjusting knob. It just pops off. With the power connector removed and the standoffs installed, we can reinstall the output connector. Now I'm going to tighten these screws up, but 
make sure you remember to solder, re-solder, the uh, output connector. Well, I'm entirely flabbergasted. When I ordered this inch dimension case, I ordered two of them. And although it only happened a couple of minutes ago, I can't really say why I went and looked at the second case. The second case the front panel is thicker and therefore it accepts a thicker front panel. Here we are. This is an unmodified case. Well, it had some flashing around it like it does here. I broke some of that off. But that here is the other case with the FG085 rear panel done. The difference is this is the second case. This is the end panels. Note that they're not textured and there's some casting or, or molding marks in the back of them. Here is the original front, the original case. Can you see around the edge where it's thinned? This front panel on the original case, I had a 50-50 chance of picking this up, is thinned around the edges. These, and I'll show you one of the smooth sides and one of the rough sides, are not thinned around the edges. Now one thing this second case seems to have is a lot of flashing on it. But it accepts without modification, at least to the grooves on the front, the 085. I am absolutely, I don't know what to say. There are no markings on these cases. I ordered them from the same seller. It was just the chance of the draw that I got one of each. Who knows what the newest case is? <sighs> I'm just flabbergasted. Amazing. If your front, if your case accepts the FG085, what needs to be done is these uh, pillars, these uh, standoffs, or I guess they're pillars. And in this case, they are buttressed up against the case. In this case, in the case I'm holding in my hand which accepts the thickness of the FG-085. The pillars are buttressed up against the side of the case. On the, on the other case, and I don't know what to say, they are not fastened to the wall of the enclosure. In any event, if you're lucky enough to get one of these cases, and I don't know how you can order them. I guess you just order a couple cases and hope you get the right one. I ended up removing the USB connector, and you can see how I flattened one side of these pillars. I did that on both sides. And I inserted the FG085 I removed about the same amount of material from the top. And there we go. I don't know how to tell you 
to buy this second generation, or maybe it's the first generation case. At this point, the only thing left to do is decide how to power this. There are a couple different ways to power it. One way of powering it would be to put an IEC connector back here and install this little power supply. You have to crack it open inside the case and wire to the 110 volt or whatever. The other thing to do would be to drill and put a matching power supply jack on the back of the case. The third thing to do would be to cut off this plug, just drill a hole in the back of the case, put the wire in, leaving a fair amount of slack, tie a knot in it inside the case. We've already passed it through an imaginary hole here and solder it in place of the uh, power connector. And that would probably be perfectly all right. I think since I have matching connectors for this, that I'll probably mount a connector on the back of this. Here we have the FG085 mounted in the box. And I've removed some material from both these standoffs. Here it is with the top and bottom on it. These rubber feet are not too solid. Just working one of them in and out has caused it to separate. I'm going to see if I have any other rubber feet that I can put on here. I managed to find uh, four rubber feet. So here's the completed case which required no modifications to the DDS generator and the only modifications required to the case was the uh, removal of some of the material in front of the leg. I'll provide a link to where I got this case but there's no guarantee that you'll get the version that has the thin or the thick plates. Here's the thin plate. Has a little recess all the way around it. Here's the thick plate. No recess. If you get the thick plate version, you can see there's a difference here. The DDS will fit right in like a glove. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little video. Please subscribe. Drop me a message. Thank you.